Hey, guys. It's great to see your names this morning. Would you guys please turn on your cameras for that first five minutes of participation? I'll even remember to put a timer on today. So when it goes off, I can be like, oh, five minutes are up. And then remember, we'll do that the five minutes after class too. All right, miigwech, Anthony, thank you. Miigwech, Nizhik, I can see that yours is off. So I have Keldon and Levi that's present today. Levi, if you're in the car or something or on your way, I know sometimes like when you don't have yours on, you're commuting. So I understand why that could be distracting and stuff with the, with the scenery going by. And then facts that are, oh, is that Meredith? Mm -hmm. And then Portal. Is that JC by chance? Or is that someone else? That would be a young a young Quay, but not Twirtle is not JC. Oh, so it's Miss Jasmine. Yeah. There's, oh, there's Eva. I'm gonna so we had um JC and she just poofed. So oh. she might be having tech issues. So I will check in there. Uh, that happens sometimes in our virtual world. Yeah. Oh, so I just want to say happy Thursday to you guys. I'm hoping you guys are having a beautiful day. Um, did anyone catch the sun um, set yesterday? By chance, did anyone catch that beautiful sun? I did. It was amazing. We were in Petoskey. <gasps> oh, my goodness, Nijik. I saw your mother's post of the sunset in Petoskey and it was absolutely gorgeous. The pictures, she posted two of them actually. And yes, what did you think of it? I heard you say it was amazing and that's so exciting to hear you speak about that passion. It is. Wow. That is awesome. So, Bungishamon, that means sunset. That means the sun is setting. I'll have that as a definition for tomorrow, but it's Bong Ishimun. Bong Ishimun. For, um, so yesterday I took a few pictures and I was like, oh my goodness, we have not had a January sunset like that in a while. So it's kind of 20 days into January. So it was well worth seeing that beautiful sunset. I kind of, um, for me, I actually drove out into a field. Um, it was just tribal pop property on the reservation. And um, I caught like the very last ray of light and it was really gorgeous to see. I was just like, man, I had to go to Home Depot and pick up a new filter for my furnace. So since I was out, I went and did that. All right, well, I'm gonna go into shared screen. We're gonna get in our PowerPoint. I do have a story to share with you guys today. I'm gonna come back after the PowerPoint because I don't have any awesome pictures or anything like that to look at, but it's a fun story to share. So with that, I'm gonna get into shared screen and Calvin, Twirtle, and Facts at ALR. I'm gonna say are already, that's what I'm assuming that word is, but it's abbreviated. If you didn't mind turning on your cameras, that'd be greatly appreciated. And just to give you guys a rundown of how many minutes you have left that you have to have them on, our goal is to have it on the whole class, but if um, you don't want to, you got a minute and 50 seconds left. And once that timer goes off, I'll acknowledge that and make that announcement. All right, going to my PowerPoint. All right. All right, so we are in Manadu Gizus. Manadu Gizus, and that is for our spirit moon for January. January is referred to as Manadu Gizus. Sometimes I was um, looking in some people, you know how we talk about December's Manadu Gizuts, little spirit moon. Some will refer to this as Gitche Manadu Gizut, big spirit moon. Um, I'm assuming just because December is referred to um, little spirit. So Manadu Gizuts, oh Manadu, Jesus, do you guys all want to practice that word with me? Manadu, I'm going to go down, see the stories are found. Manadu, let's say that word together, Manadu. Manadu, Manadu, Manadu. And that's just talking about a spirit. And then Jesus is referencing to that, um, our um, Jesus, our moon. So Manadu, Jesus, that is our spirit moon. And it is the 21st today, so we are a half, half moon. So we're almost a week away from a full moon. All right, and then it's our new year. It's exciting. 
Hopefully we have a lot of good blessings for 2021. And that's, remember middle means happy. And it can be reference to joy and things like that as well. But we have middle and then we have the abitta, abitta, baboon. And it's just talking about that midway, that's something that's new. And baboon means winter. So middle abitta, baboon is talking about midwinter. And when, when, you know, for midwinter, um, for the calendar point, is our camera, our timer is going off. So if you would like to not have your cameras on, you don't need to at this time. But if you would like to and it doesn't bother you, I highly recommend it. So, mino abitta the boon. Try that word two times. Mino abitta the boon. Mino abitta the boon. And that's just for our happy new year. And then we have our 2021. 2021. What do you? Oh, those are, we can have candy for lunch. All right, men. Okay, so we have Nijo Shaguns. Nijo Shaguns. Remember, that is referring to 2000. Nijo Shaguns. Nijo Shaguns. Hold on, I'm trying. And then we have that Nishtana. Nishtana refers to, be careful with this. No running, you have to be sitting down at the computer, okay? It's a gobstopper. Bejik. I'll hold the rest. Go sit down. All right. Nijo Shaguns means 2,000. Nishtana is 20 and Bejik is one. When we add those together and we have um, that connection of that sh. We're talking about a larger number. We're not just talking about 2020 and one. We're talking about the actual number. We're not just saying 2000 and then taking a break and saying the number 20 and then taking a break and just saying the word one. We're combining it all. It's Nijo Shagon Sha, Nishtana Sha Bejit. Nijo Shagon Sha, Nishtana Sha Bejit. Nijo Shagon Sha, Nishtana Sha Bejit. So we could say today, um, with it being Nishtana Shabajik, the 21st day um, of January, you could say Manadol Gizes Nishtana Shabajik, Nijo Shagosh Nishtana Shabajik. It is January 21st, 2021. All right, getting into our Gizhagadon. Gizhagadon, our days of the week. All right, Gijagadon, Gijagadon. Let's say that word a couple, um, two times too. Gijagadon, Gijagadon. That's just referring to days of our week and we have up here our past, present and future. Otherwise known as yesterday, today and tomorrow. Today means nongon. Yesterday is jinago. Tomorrow is wobon. Now we also added in was nago, the day before yesterday, and was wabong, day after tomorrow. So that way you guys are given at least, we're referencing five days of the week. So going back to our present time, which is nongon. No, um, nongon gijigat would be nilan gijigat. It's Thursday, it's the fourth day of the week today. Jinago, niswe gijigat. Yesterday was Wednesday. Now, wasna go. The day before yesterday was Tuesday. Nish gijigat. Now referencing to um wobong. Nanen gijigat. That would be tomorrow. Now going to the day after tomorrow. Was wobong. Nagud wasle gijigat. Saturday. All right. So for um, Twirtle, can you please say um, Thursday for me and Nishna and Babelwin? Thursday. My cursor's on it right now. We got me. Let's, I'm going to have you unmute. Let's um, do some class participation. We're just, I'm just going to popcorn it so everyone will get a turn. So for Twirtle, my cursor's right by it. Remember that double I makes that E sound, that single I is I, and that. So, and then um, Yijigat means day. And then we went over our numbers um, throughout the year, the SCA. 
So for twirdle, Thursday would be ni wangi jiga. Ni wangi jiga. All right, next one up, Anthony. Will you please, um, for wasnago, the day before yesterday, which would have been Tuesday, will you please say Tuesday for me in the language? Niji gaz zigat. Nishin, good job, Niji. Gizigat, Nishin. I like how you broke it up there. And that's okay when we're, um, you did a great job with that. So, ni gwech. All right, going down my list, I'm going to go to Keldon. Keldon, wabong for tomorrow. Can you please tell me, Keldon, what tomorrow will be? Keldon. I, I, my sister's made on it. Okay, so we'll do it together. Nanen gijigat. Nanen gijigat. If you don't, if you, um, I'd prefer you to unmute, but if you don't, then just say it. In the comfort of your own home. Friday. Mission <laughs> for that. Jaganash Moen. Um, yes, tomorrow is Friday. Wabag. Nanang Dijaga. All right. Um, Levi. I'm going to go up to Levi. Will you please let me know about Jinago? What was yesterday? Jinago, Levi. Nishway Gijaga. All right, so we had Anthony, Keldon, Levi, and we also had Twirtle. So now we're going to go to Meredith. I think that that's you. Um, will you please let me know about um, Waswabong the day after tomorrow? So the day after Friday, which is Saturday. How would you say Saturday in Nishnabe Moen? Would anyone like to help out um, them? Oh, I did not see Nishika on there. There you are. So me, what for that participation, Nishik? I did not see you. So we did get Nishika. We did get Nishika. Uh, I want to say thank you for helping them out. Um, Anishik, I'm going to give you um, days of the week. How do we say days of the week? Like it's right at the top. Yeah. We're just talking about the days of our week. Me, watch you guys for that participation. I like that you guys, um, for the ones that did participate and did unmute your mics, me, watch. I greatly appreciate that. All right, our next one. We talked about this on Tuesday. Kagikado. Kagikado. She or he speaks. Let's say that all together. You don't have to unmute your mics unless you want to be heard. Heard. <clears throat> Sorry, I was eating almonds today. Felt them in my throat just now. <laughs> yeah, she speaks. We will say that three more times because I keep getting stuck on that. So, and today I added another word in there. I added the word kindness for you guys. Kindness. So like I said, I think I might keep this um, PowerPoint up for the month of January, this slide. And we'll just add words in there that um, I feel and speak. And if you guys want to throw out some English words for me to add in there, for me to translate, we can do that too. It'd just be the day after tomorrow. So um, it'd be um, Lebon, our last Lebon. So. For kindness, we have ja, we, jigilin. So we have that. So I broke it down a lot. We have z h a, ja. Then we have w e n, when. Then we have g i, j. Then g e, g. And then w i n, win. When we put it together, even saying it slowly, I think of ja, we, ah, ja, we, jigilin. I kind of get tongue tied a little bit saying it slower, but for you guys, we can go. And that just refers to kindness. So you can say, you know, he or she speaks with kindness. All right. So I'm going to do my stop my share there. Oh, I got to go to the top of the screen. 
All right. Well, you guys got two minutes before your cameras turn back on. You guys should be able to turn it on. So today, the story I have for you guys today, I was going to refer to Wenabuju. Now, Wenabuju is half man and half spirit. He was also that one that um, Gijay Manadu set forth to name everything. Now, after the um, great flood, um, and from that story of the great flood, um, there were still spirits about in the early, um, Chicago Mikwe was new, and there's so many unexplained things that were happening. Um, and then there is one story about um, a story of when a Wendigo challenged um, when a Buju. Now, when we talk about Gawin, so when we talk about a Wendigo, um, a Wendigo is just talking about something that would reference to um, something that would eat humans. That would, um, one moment, if you guys don't mind me responding to this text. I remember when I talked about my furnace um, being out yesterday, I had have, have that guy coming today. So I'm just going to reference my address to them. So my apologies for interrupting that story. Okay. And hopefully they'll get the hint that if I'm texting my address, they'll come. Oh, yeah. So getting back to Wena Buju and the um, Wendigo. So they kind of reference that as like a man eater, someone who would eat humans. So almost kind of like we talk about um, for other tribes, we, um, not other tribes, but other tribal nations is cannibalism. But to them, they referred to the uh, that you're a Wendigo and you're a man eater. You were more of a spirit form. So there was a Manadu that roamed certain villages. It wasn't exactly to say the location, um, but the people feared that. No one really wanted to be, and you would never want to just be in your wigwam and come through and someone come through and be like, there's a tasty human, I'm going to eat that. Kind of just like how we are with our Wawash Keishi when we go hunting. However, humans were the ones being hunted then by that um, Wendigo. So for Wanabuju, he was kind of like, how can I out trick this, um, Wendigo, how can I make him move on? And remember, one of um, Wayne Abuju's um, characteristics was to be a trickster. He loved to play jokes on that. And then at the same time, he wasn't just in human form. He was also half spirit. Wayne Abuju was half man and half spirit. So he had the um, courage to approach this Wendigo because he's like, oh, I'm part of you anyways. We're both spirits. So, you know, I'm going to be at your um, equal. All right, and with that, you know, one day he approached that um, Wendigo and he mentioned about how the people feared him and that he shouldn't be here. And the Wendigo was like, well, I do what I want. I fear nothing. And the Wendigo was um, very um, just confident, but not in the way of um, that we value, that we, that the confidence of hum being humble. They were more arrogant with that. And so when was like, well, hmm, how about I challenge you? And um, that window goes like, when a Buju is gonna challenge me? Okay, challenge me then, challenge me on anything. I'm a Wendigo, I can always outsmart you. I can run faster, I can fly faster. I can do anything because I am a Wendigo. And also, I am a full spirit and you're only a half spirit. So when a Buju is like, okay, fair enough. So they thought about what challenge could they do? What could they do? And then they thought about what will we bet? And Wendigo is like, if I win, I could eat all the men I want when I want. And you can't do anything about it. You can't save your precious people anymore. And Wanabuju is like, well, if I win, you'll have to leave. And then Wanabuju and that Wendigo thought, what can we bet on? What can we have a fair race at? And it was said that this one was about Eastman about eating. They actually had an eating contest of a kind of said, but at the same time, they had this huge feast upon feast and they had to engulf everything. So they'd be the last one standing at the table to finish. So they um, talked about that. And then they didn't do it that day. 
It took him a few days to get there. So in between that time of um, thinking about what are we going, um, how am I going to prepare myself for this, um, when a, um, Buju decided to make a bandolier bag. Now for him, his bandolier bag wasn't anything fancy. He actually just made it out of um, hide. So it was tan looking. And then he kind of um, draped it over him. He's like, well, this will be my bag, you know? And then he made that throughout that time. And then that Wendigo during that time too would also be sneaky as himself. And he would spy and he would just watch the Atlanta Bougie. And he's like, all he does is spend time on that bandolier bag. He's not preparing for this. I have this in the bag. So finally, the, um, that, um, Gijigot, that day game where they were going to finally have that contest about like who would out eat who, who would be the last one standing, who is going to win this, would the people be safe or would they not be safe? And um, finally they began and they had this huge um, feast upon them and they were just eating back and forth, back and forth. And it was always said that depicted the pictures of just, you could see these two spirits, one that was half man, one of and the other one that went to go, just constantly their um, stomachs going bigger and bigger. And when, um, that Wendigo was really looking at Wanabuju and he's just like, he's not slowing down. And so they kept going. And then it was said for days they went on with this. And then finally that Wendigo looked over at Wanabuju and Wanabuju, he could be like, ah, he's getting sleepy or ah, he's getting too full. But the whole time that they were doing this, Wanabuju had that um, bandolier bag. And what he was actually doing during this time was he would eat, but he'd also eat and he'd put um, some medium. When we talk about medium, we're talking about food. He'd put that in that bandolier bag and he'd keep going and stuff. So Lindigo could, um, didn't realize this part. But at the same time as he was doing that though, um, the Lindigo was like, how can this um, man who's ha only half spirit um, outbeat me? But he, Atlanta Buju ended up did. He ended up outlasting that Wendigo. And then even in the end, when he's like, well, we need to stand. You need to stand and be able to um, be able to be on your two feet to um, really be the victor, to be the victorious here. And so he thought there's no way that this um, half spirit, half man, who's been eating for days can stand up like me. So that Wendigo thought, I will win this. But at the same time, when Abuju agreed, but he had this huge bag of air bag just filled with food. He said, first things first, though, when to go. And when Abuju took his um, mukman, and a mukman is a knife. And I said he ended up slitting that bandolier bag and all that food came piling out. And that Wendigo took a glimpse and he was like, oh my goodness, Wanabuju is crazy. He's like, not only can he out eat you, but at the same time, he can inflict that harm to himself and not withstand any pain from that. And so from that, Wanabuju out tripped the Wendigo by being sneaky and not being honest, but at the same time, by being, um, but at the same time, saving his people. And that's just the story between the Wendigo and the Wanabuju. All right, I see we have something, that, okay. Saw some things that we had in the chat, but they were not for me. So I think for tomorrow, I'm gonna find some pictures because like some of the pictures are pretty hilarious of the way Wanabuju is depicted during that time of when he faced the Wendigo for his Anishinaabek um, relatives and stuff to keep them safe from that Wendigo. And nowadays we don't really hear too much about those um, spirits anymore. We, in the beginning, um, I know when I talked about um, how the first dog came to be on Turtle Island, I referenced a Wendigo and stuff, but now times have changed. So with that, you guys got lucky because I did not say ooh, five minutes before, but it is 9.01, so it's like 9.02. So I don't want to go over your guys' break time. I know you have math after that. So I'm going to turn it back over to Mr. Ireland. Tomorrow is non engaged so I will see you guys on Friday, but I will stay on for your break time. This is Stephen. Yes.